Hey, let's go to uh, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, we have so many different things to talk to you about, but one I like to talk about, uh, <laughs> yeah. the escalating tension between Israel and Hamas. We start week two. Uh, there is no let up now. In fact, uh, over 100 rockets from Hamas into Israel proper yesterday, and it's happening right now. How, you've seen this storyline before. How does it end? Well, I think Israel will keep attacking until it degrades the capability of Hamas uh, to hurt them in the future. Once you start these things, I think it's incumbent upon Israel to do as much damage as they can to make sure it doesn't happen again anytime soon. But usually Egypt helps. But the Biden administration is openly talking about giving the Palestinians more money while rockets rain down on Israel. There is no game plan from the United States, in my view, to make it end on terms favorable for Israel. You look at both governments are really in the middle of turmoil. There's been three elections in the last four years for Israel. Benjamin yeah. and Yahoo can't get a government together. Uh, and, and Hamas, uh, if there was an election, they would win even more uh, of, of the over more than Palestinian Authority. There's no Yasser Arafat to deal with. Who do you go to, even if you wanted a ceasefire? So, so here's the real, that's a really good point. There's two factions in the Palestinian world. The Palestinian Authority that Israel has a working relationship with on the West Bank regarding security, very corrupt. There's Hamas who occupies the Gaza Strip where all the rockets come from. In their charter, Hamas's charter, their goal is to drive Israel in the sea. So when you talk about a two-state solution, who do you negotiate with? If you cut a deal with the Palestinian Authority, would Hamas accept it? So I hope the American government will stop pushing Israel to negotiate a two-state solution when one of the uh, partners is Hamas, whose goal is to destroy the existence of the state of Israel. I don't see a two-state solution coming anytime soon until Hamas has been marginalized by the Palestinian people themselves. All right, so you did something kind of interesting. Uh, the Trump-Graham golf classic came off without a hitch, and there'll be <laughs> others. Uh, you guys came together for a good we cause to help, the, uh, to help uh, veterans. Uh, a police officer yeah. won the first annual Trump golf classic, and right. also to raise money for Super PAC for you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a President uh, Trump's uh, uh, Save America PAC, my campaign, and uh, oh, probably about a half a million dollars for the Republican Senatorial Committee so we can take back uh, the Senate. Uh, Bill, the uh, cop from Philadelphia, won the, uh, the lottery to play at a great time, and I appreciate President Trump doing this. It helps the overall cause. So overall, why isn't it the Graham Trump Golf Classic? Why is his name <laughs> first? I don't get it. You know, there's a lot of complicated things in the world. That's not one of them. I didn't think so. Can you tell me, uh, the, <laughs> the, I, uh, can you tell me the president's mindset? I hear he's going to hit to the road uh, starting in the summer and start giving speeches with the pandemic and many respects yeah. behind us. Yeah. He can get the big crowds again. If you were to write that speech, what would be in it? Yeah. I think the first thing is about the border. Uh, here, I've talked to him over the weekend. He's very anxious to get back in the game. He wants to do rallies. He's frustrated to see the border deteriorate. Here's the problem. There's, Biden is making no adjustments to these policies. He's doubling down on what's not working. Go back to remain in Mexico and we'll stop being overrun at the border. When it comes to Hamas and Palestinians, cut off their money until they do better. When it comes to cyber attacks, change our laws to make it uh, a deterrent that we don't have today. So the President Trump is very frustrated to see all that he accomplished kind of be washed away in the first hundred days. But he's uh, itching to get back into the game and stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right. Uh, I know the people, uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of them, I think. Uh, Senator Graham, thanks so much. And, you know, it's good to know you're raising money for a good cause and getting to play golf at the same Thank time. You.